Hey everyone, and welcome to Santorini. This place is absolutely beautiful, and I can understand why it's one of the most popular islands in Greece. We spent a few days here, and despite the crowds, we had a great time. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, which means it's time to head to the airport. Today I'll be flying with the Greek flag carrier Aegean Airlines on a short hop from here in Santorini to Athens. The airport here is pretty small, but it's actually nice and accommodates a large number of international flights during the high seasons of spring, summer, and fall. Full disclosure, this flight was operated by Aegean's subsidiary, Olympic Air, but flown aboard an Aegean plane and I bought the tickets off Aegean's website. I wasn't sure whether to refer to this as a trip with Aegean or Olympic, so I just decided to go with Aegean since this A320 is sporting the Aegean livery and it's officially part of their fleet. If there's any Greek aviation fanatics out there who feel like I got this all wrong, let me know below in the comments. Our plane arrived over an hour late, so it was a relief when it was finally time to board the buses for the remote gate. The flight to Athens is only about 45 minutes long, and we'll be aboard this 12-year-old A320. For this flight, I chose to sit in the back of the plane in seat 26A. There's 174 seats on this plane, and there's a small Eurobiz section at the front. The seats themselves seemed a little worn, and when I got to mine, there were crumbs all over the place. I also noticed some coffee splattered on the seat back. I actually flew on three Aegean A320s while I was in Greece, and all the seats seemed to have this in common. There was also some garbage left over from the previous flight in the seat back pocket. The crew handed out sanitizing wipes when we boarded, so I was able to clean up a bit and it really wasn't a big deal. After such a long delay, it was nice to finally get moving. Santorini Airport opened in 1972 and can handle up to medium-sized planes like the A320, 767, and the 737. Now that we're up in the air, let's take a closer look around. The legroom wasn't very good, and inside of the seat back pocket there was a safety card and a sickness bag. The tray table pulls out from in front of you and it was actually a decent size. In terms of entertainment, there was a magazine in the literature pocket and overhead screens that showed the route map. One thing that was really cool was that this plane had Wi-Fi and you could access a bunch of virtual newspapers and magazines free of charge. But reading on a plane tends to give me motion sickness, so I just enjoyed the views out of my window. Another thing that surprised me about this flight is that a small snack was served. Everyone got a bag that had some crackers, a bottle of water, and a sanitizing wipe inside. It wasn't a huge snack, but it was definitely more than what most US airlines would serve on a 45 minute flight. There's two lavatories located in the rear of the aircraft, and here's what they look like. I know it seems like I complained a lot in this video, but in reality, this was a fine flight. Yeah, there were a few minor issues, but for a trip that lasted only 45 minutes, it really wasn't a big deal.
I've seen some people say that Aegean is Europe's best airline, but after this flight, I can't say that I agree. However, I do realize that this was one of their older planes, and this was just a short flight. I really wanted to fly on one of their new A320 Neos or A321 Neos, but it just didn't work out on this trip, and I've heard that those planes are really nice. I'd love to come back to Greece soon, and if I do, I'll make sure to try out one of their newer planes, and hopefully that'll change my opinion. That said, I did enjoy this flight despite the delays and kind of dirty cabin. The amenities that they provided were nice, and the staff were very professional. For health reasons, the crew had everyone disembark by row to maintain social distancing, but then everyone was crowded onto the same bus to the terminal, so that one's lost on me. And once we got inside, it took them almost an hour to get our bags to us, but I'd still fly with the GN again. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and let me know below if you've ever flown with a GN.